Bond set at $100,000 for Jarrell Poe and Gavin Bates, both men accused of forcing a man to go inside of a bank and withdraw money for a medical marijuana growing operation. They are charged with kidnapping and kidnapping conspiracy, but others claim there's another side to that story. Former Ole Miss and NFL defensive lineman Jarrell Poe and Gavin Bates said nothing as they entered the Ridgeland Courthouse to face charges of kidnapping a man who was allegedly leading a medical marijuana growing operation. The victim had been uh, taken against his will out of Laurel, Mississippi and brought up here overnight. They stayed in uh, Pearl and then uh, came to the Chase Bank. And the reason they end up in Ridgeland is because there's just a Chase Bank here. Poe is a defensive lineman standout at Ole Miss, who later went on to play for the Kansas City Chiefs and Houston Texans. According to police, Poe and Bates brought the victim to the Chase Bank in Ridgeland, hoping to recoup some $300,000 they and others invested in a medical marijuana growing operation, but saw very little return on their investments. The whole time, it's, it's just been shady. Um, Did Jarrell kidnap him? No. Keith Stovall says he worked with Poe and Bates on the marijuana project that never grew into anything. He says the alleged victim, Bryce Mathis, was supposedly bringing Poe and Bates to the bank to return their investment money of $300,000. That's how they ended up over here to the Chase Bank, because Bryce was supposed to give them the money back. And it turns out to where he went in the bank and said, because he couldn't produce the money, that, they kid that uh, Jarrell was kidnapping him. I probably is something to do with self-help, but you can't break the law and engage in kidnapping to collect on a debt. But yes, it's a kidnapping case. Prosecutors say there is much more to this case that will be revealed at a later date, but the charges are for a reason. Well, we're not going to try the case out here in public, but you can rest assured that in Ridgeland we would not have arrested them and charged them with kidnapping if it wasn't kidnapping. Bond said at $100,000 for each man. Uh, they have waived their preliminary hearing, which means now their case will go before a Madison County grand jury. Investigators say this case is ongoing. There could be more charges. Live in Ridgeland, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.